Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm finally experiencing two firsts for me, a live Psycho Billy show and the music venue Fremont Country Club, next to Backstage Bar and Billiards, or Triple B as it's locally known. This event was put on by Nevermore Productions, so I had high hopes it was going to rock. I don't know how I went so long without experiencing either of these events, but tonight's the night. Oh, before we go, it's chilly out. Better grab a beanie. Fremont Country Club is the big brother to its neighbor backstage bar and billiards. Being bigger, the shows are generally bigger too. National and international acts are common here, and it's a great way to see big name bands without stadium prices. With an open floor plan, the atmosphere was one of a meet and greet, inviting people to mingle and focus on the stage while waiting for the show to start. Opening up the show was Vegas' own The Green Fuzz, an amazing gender-bent cramps tribute band. Blasting off as soon as the curtains opened, the crowd was immediately focused on the stage. With a vinyl-clad singer exuding equal parts raunchy sexuality and commanding stage presence, they were hard to miss, and I'm glad I didn't. For fans of the Cramps, they were a great start to what promised to be an awesome night. Act number two was Volk, a power duo from Tennessee. With a setup like the White Stripes and a sound like a dirtier and louder Black Keys mixed with ACDC, they were here to have a blast. With a smashing backbeat and great use of guitar effects and technique, they didn't need no stinking bass player. Not to mention a guitarist who knows how to use some sequins. The Delta Bombers were up next as the only other local band on the bill. That definitely doesn't diminish their impact on stage though. Hopefully, some of the bands on the bill will be on the show soon, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. You don't want to miss out. The second the curtains opened up, the crowd went nuts. The band gave it right back, melting faces with high-energy Psycho Billy Rock. They had the crowd eating out of their hands with equal parts onstage fun and musical punches to the solar plexus. Finishing out the night was The Necromantics, a Danish-American Psycho Billy band from Copenhagen, Denmark. From the instant appearance of the crowd at the first guitar chord to the sea of cell phones, yours truly included, it was easy to see why they were the headliners. Exuding pure Psycho Billy, the band was straight-ahead rock. Their sonic assault was a clinic in musicianship and letting their fingers do the talking. Their set was fast-paced, energetic, and relentless. A perfect finish to a great night. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll check out Fremont Country Club and Triple B if you're in the area, and I certainly hope that you'll check out any of these bands. Uh, it was a great show, and honestly, I had a great time. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up in that corner. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. It really does make a difference, and I really do appreciate all of you. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description for all my social media, including an online merch store and Patreon page. Uh, once again, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.